All right, we just talked about lead magnets. Now, what are you going to do with that lead magnet? How are people going to be able to download those lead magnets once you get them uh, put into place? Okay, let's show. I'm going to show you exactly where to put them and what to do with those. There's a couple different ways that you guys could go about this, but let's look at here. If you go into your ClickFunnels account, you go to account, and then you go down here to digital assets. Let's click on digital assets really quickly. And you'll see here I've put a, a few things in here already. So, um, see, I've got an HVAC marketing guide. Okay, well, one of the things that I've created is an HVAC marketing guide. So you guys could see that. Um, if you're in the HVAC market and you have questions about that, give me a shout. That being said, um, you can upload different assets through here. So you're going to add an asset. And if you want the ability to send that directly from your opt-in page, so when somebody opts in, Bam, it just sends them an email. By the way, that's what your SMTP settings were for. Uh, without that being set up, this will not work. So go here and call it something, um, my new digital asset, and then say, choose file, and then go ahead and grab something from somewhere and then upload it. I don't really have anything new to put in here, uh, but if you want to email it out, make sure to, to give yourself a name. Like I call it Matt, give it a... a you know my email address here and then um, you could put a message in here here's the thing you requested okay and then when you're done just click create digital asset when you're done it'll submit and it'll end up right here after it uploads so let's say uh, the first way that you can use this is each one of these goes into the Amazon basically an Amazon server and then you can download that um, using this right here. So you would, on a, a Mac, you would click Control, uh, click, and it's going to say here, you could, or you're going to get the drop down. What you want to do is copy that link address. Okay. Once you've copied that link address, you can paste that into a button on your thank you page. Let's look at a couple different ways we can, uh, we can deliver that lead magnet. So what we're going to do is go back to our funnels, browse funnels, and I've got that copied onto my clipboard. So let's go to opt-in. Uh, let's go to test opt-in page here because I've already done that one. So I'm going to go to my thank you page down here. And we're going to edit this using uh, the, the new version editor. And the first thing you can do, it says download the report here. Remember that red button means that nothing's been set up here. I'm going to come over here, set action. I want to set the action to download something so what you can do because I just uh, copied a link a URL say go to website URL and download bam right now it's there I click back and you can see that URL there so when somebody opts in they get dropped onto this thank you page and then you can say bam download the report click here it downloads that's the first way to do that let's look I'm gonna let's see I'll save this right now Remember when I said that SEO data would prompt you? Yes, this is a test. Okay, I just want to put something in there so I can save it, get out, and go upon my merry way. Now, we're going to go back. We're going to exit this page. And we're going to use the same funnel. We're going to go to the opt-in page. Uh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the other one because we already set that one up. Um, we're going to go to, to opt-in test 2. And then I'm going to go to this one. This is the one that we worked on in an earlier example in an earlier video. Don't worry, we'll make this uh, short. And what we can do, if you remember quite correctly, there was a settings tab up here at the top. We can come down here to general. And then we can come over here where it says digital asset. Check this out. We can let them download any one of these, right? So we're going to say uh, 3K in a weekend case study. And that's it. Seriously, that's it. So when they opt in, when this works, when they redirect upon submitting this and it's successful, ClickFunnels will kick out uh, an email using the information that we provided to the email address that they provided so that they can get that digital asset automatically sent to them. It's 
that easy. So that's how you're going to set up your lead magnets. You're going to put them into the digital asset area. Then you're going to come to your opt-in page here and set that up to deliver to them on autopilot when they opt in. I hope that all made sense. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, I hope you guys get out there and start making some, uh, some lead magnets and dropping them into your digital assets area. If I were you, I would come up with five to brainstorm five to 10 good ideas and then actually follow through on like four or five of those uh, good ideas uh, because you can create an opt-in page for each one of those areas and really start building your list uh, quite uh, effectively and very quickly uh, when you do that, okay? So for here, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video.